raising money for programs that help children with autism. Families and therapists in Southwest Florida worry about a new state proposal. One Fort Myers father fears for his daughter. Wake News anchor Jenny Franton looks into what cuts would mean for children with autism. She is so special. Royce Nell's five-year-old daughter, Lakin, has autism. <laughs> she receives speech therapy at Focus in Fort Myers. The therapies are essential. Essential for successful communication later in life. A mission Focus owner and founder, Jennifer Voltz, is passionate about. These kids need this service, and if not, it's only going to cost the state more money in the long run. And they provide a lot of services for autistic children here at Focus, but if those cuts go forward, these doors might close for good. It's just been one thing after the next with the Agency of Healthcare Administration. Earlier this year, that agency considered cutting reimbursements to organizations helping autistic children by more than half. However, Mary Mayhew, Governor DeSantis picked to lead ACCA, now says, We are not going forward with the rate reductions at this time. She plans on working this summer and fall to figure out how to move forward with those payments. <laughs> Volt says without that money coming in, it would be harder to serve hundreds of families like the Snells. But this is money well spent now, and we have to find a way to keep it in the budget. One reason she and this father will be keeping a close eye on Mayhew. Everything always starts with awareness. A message he hopes other families will send to leaders this Autism Awareness Month. In Fort Myers, Shannon Frampton, Wink News Now. The Agency for Healthcare Administration is still figuring out where its budget money is needed the most. They're holding a series of public meetings where you can voice your concerns on this issue. The next one is in Orlando. We have a complete list with this story on the Wink News app.